This video focuses on the first numerical problem of Lagrange's means value theorem. The problem has been asked in the previous year examination of CBSE and some other state boards. In CBSE, it was asked in the year 1992-1998 respectively. The question says verify LMV means Lagrange's means value theorem for fx is equal to x multiply x minus 1 multiply x minus 2 on the interval 0 to 1 by 2 closed. Also find c in this interval. c means that point which we are taking into consideration according to the geometrical interpretation where the tangent was actually parallel to the chord joining the end points of the curve. So let's start with the solution. I write the heading as solution and we know that what we have to do. First of all, as the question says, we have to verify Lagrange's means value theorem and then we will have to find out the C also. So as you can see, fx has been given to us and it is nothing but the product of three different terms. Let's expand fx. So first let's multiply x inside so it becomes x square minus x and the last term remains as it is. Then again let's expand so it becomes x square into x that is x cube, x square into 2 minus 2x square x into x is minus x square and it becomes plus 2x. x into x square then x square into 2 then x into x then 2 into x. What all can be taken out together? Let's see. It becomes something like this. x cube minus 3x square plus 2x. That you can do. Simplification is easy. It can be done. So this is my fx. This is my question into consideration. And as you can see, what kind of a function is this? This is a polynomial function. And about a polynomial function, we know many things. And the two things that we know that polynomial function is differentiable everywhere, it is continuous everywhere. So since it is a polynomial function, fx is a polynomial function, so it is what? So it is continuous. So it is continuous everywhere and what about this interval? Obviously if it is continuous everywhere it will be continuous in this interval also. It is continuous in the closed interval and what about differentiability? And is differentiable and is differentiable in the open interval. So differentiable in the open interval, right? So that is about the continuity and differentiability. According to LMV, Lagrange's means value theorem, only two conditions needed to be checked. One is continuity, second is differentiability. So I say that LMV conditions are satisfied. Right? So that means the conditions of Lagrange's means value theorem are satisfied. And if that is so, I know that what will happen? Then there will exist, then there exists C which we have to actually find out such that such that f dash c is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a that you know. Now our task is what? To find f dash c, to find these things, to put it in. So let me make this equation number 1. Let's find out f dash c. For f dash c, first we need to find out f dash x. So where you found out fx, directly you can find f dash x here. So what is f dash x? x cubes differentiation with respect to x, 3x square. 3x square differentiation with respect to x, minus 6x because there was one minus, plus 2x differentiation is only plus 2. Right? So this is f dash x. Now if this is f dash x, directly you can write f dash c wherever you have x, just substitute it in place of c. Again, what is f of b? f of b needs to be found out. f of b means f of the last thing that we are taking into consideration in the interval. And similarly, f of a also needs to be found out. f of 1 by 2 means wherever you have x, just substitute 1 by 2. So it becomes 1 by 2 cube minus 2x square means 2 into 1 by 2 square, which is 1 by 4, nothing but minus x square or directly you could have written minus 3x square but it's fine minus x square is minus 1 by 4 again the next is plus 2x so plus 2 into 1 by 4 plus 2 by 2 again let me see whether we have done it correctly 
it is nothing but the equation number 1 that has been made f of 1 by 2 is there so it becomes 1 by 2 cube minus 2 into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 plus 2 into 1 by 2 cancel whatever cancels this becomes your 1 right so now it is nothing but 1 by 8 minus 2 by 4 minus 1 by 4 minus 3 by 4 plus 1 let's find out the lcm let's make some space and then we'll be finding f of 0 no issues with it let's find out the lcm lcm becomes your 8 right so it becomes 1 minus 2 3s are makes it 6 plus 8 what is 8 minus 6 that is 2 2 and there 8 plus 1 9 9 minus 6 is 3 upon 8 so that is done that is f of 1 by 2 Next is what is f of 0? f of 0 is nothing but wherever you have x just put 0. So it becomes simply 0. And now you have all the values. What are we waiting for? Let's put the values. So it becomes in 1 f dash c wherein you could have taken the help of f dash x is equal to f of b minus f of a. That means 3 upon 8 minus 0 which is nothing but 3 upon 8 upon b minus a which is nothing but 1 by 2 because 1 by 2 minus 0. Now only task left is to solve so it is nothing but as you can see 3 upon 8 is there and this is nothing but divided by 1 by 2 which becomes something like this so it is 3 upon 4 let us write it directly only so it is 3 upon 4 and 3 upon 4 is there 2 is here so directly I can write minus 3 upon 4 is equal to 0 taking the LCM 3C square minus 6C plus 4 is the LCM 4 is there 4 2s are makes it 8 minus 1 3 is equal to 0 3C square minus 6C plus 5 by 4 is equal to 0 now what to do let's take the LCM so it becomes 12C square minus 24C plus 5 equal to 0 and this is nothing but a quadratic equation which one can easily solve by the quadratic formula. I am making some space for the solution. I am actually eliminating certain things out of the solution. This column I guess is understood. It is very much clear how to solve this thing. So let us solve it. Let us solve the quadratic equation and let us find out the value of c which is asked in the question. So it is 12c square minus 24c plus 5. By quadratic formula, c is equal to nothing but minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac. So, 4 5s are 20 into 12 upon 2a. So, it is 2 12s are 24. So, when you solve it, basically it becomes nothing but 24 plus minus under root 336 upon 24. Then it is 1 plus minus under root 21 upon 6, right? because you have to solve it by yourself. Now as you can see this is having actually two values. C is having two values one makes with the help of plus one makes with the help of minus. Now you have to check which value among these two values actually falls in my interval. I can actually write it here. Now root 21 what would be the approximate value? It is less than 5. It is greater than 4. Now say it is 5 only, so 5 upon 6 is something in 0 point. So 1 minus 0 point something, it will actually lie in this interval. So this value will lie in the interval. What about this value? This value won't lie in the interval because how much small the value is doesn't matter. It is plus sign. So 1 plus that value will be greater than 1 which should not be there. So that means the value of C is nothing but something like this. 1 minus root 21 by 6 and hence I say my Lagrange's means value theorem is verified. So this is the first problem based on Lagrange's means value theorem. All the problems based on LMV will be like this only.